I went back on and Bob said I knew there was something serious and we'd already brought on the two or three subs we were allowed on so I thought if I go off you know we're going to be down to um, ten men so I went back on but as I said I knew that was serious and best to go off because uh, we had a game against Juventus coming up which I was hoping I'd be fit for but obviously it wasn't the case. Amazing when you consider that Terry Cook suffered almost the same injury just ten days earlier. Cook had been playing for the reserves against Sheffield Wednesday. I was devastated because well, my opinion I thought I started the season off well and I was like on fire really. It was just a big blow to me. What about now? I mean, have you, what kind of reaction did you have? Was it were you, were you tears or was it just... Was oh, it yeah, I was, yeah, broke down a little bit. Mm. Me and my girl, well, my girlfriend was with me at the time. She kept me comfort-like and um, it just lasted for a couple of days really, and just got over it, which you have to, and just get on with it. You'd think they'd be sitting at home in armchairs, feet up in front of the telly, but yeah. not in these heady days of modern sporting medicine. If you ask me to twist and turn, which is um, pretty important for a footballer, you know, and you know, I can't really do it, I can feel it. But as you said, cycling, yeah, I could cycle all day and you know, obviously can drive the car and do a lot of the leg, leg work in the gym. You know, I've just done the Cybex machine, which is quite a complicated machine, as you can see, but that's one of their favourite little toys, you know. But uh, just to, this susses up, you know, the different strengths between my, you know, my, my good leg, my left leg and my right leg. And at the moment, I've just done a test there and there's... Um, at the moment, my, le my right leg is 20% weaker already than my left, so and it'll obviously get worse before I get better. Before the major operation can take place, both players have to build up the knee to guard against any further damage when they actually go under the knife. The operation involves um, taking a strip of tendon from the thickest, strongest tendon in the uh, body, which is the patella tendon. What happens then is that they drill a hole through the shin bone on the inside of the knee, and drill a hole through the thigh bone on the outside of the knee, and thread the tendon through. In terms of healing, what happens is, is that because it's a tissue from your own body, it takes time for the blood supply to regenerate and reform through the, the new tendon we've made. So what happens is that it takes in the region of six to nine months for that vascularization, that increase in blood flow, to go through the actual knee joint. Do you know what you should do now? This is where you've got time on your hands. You should actually take up something like, I don't know, carpentry or something. Like that. <laughs> I, I did buy a model car, but that didn't work out so good, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'll just sit down and watch Cartoon Network or something on the cable. <laughs> I haven't been to watch a match yet, to be honest, you know, and give me time, I would probably go to a match. But it's not because, you know, it's just frustrating for me to watch. 